guys. Well, in today's video, we're going to start assembling our enclosure. Uh, I've got all the parts pre-cut here and ready to assemble. We're going to be using this uh, 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter aluminum extrusion. Uh, this is the same type material they use for 3D printers. And I'm using uh, standard lengths here. The long ones are 80 centimeters. I didn't cut those down. I think those, they might be a little bit too long, but uh, we'll see. Uh, then we've got uh, 66 centimeters and 35 centimeters for the short ones. We've got these three-way angle brackets, so they just slide into the piece like so. And then the upright goes in. And it makes for a nice uh, smooth corner. And you just tighten up uh, some set screws. Uh, then we're going to come back with a angle bracket here and give it some support and that's going to make uh, for a nice rigid connection there. Pretty straightforward on the assembly here. Uh, we've got this material here. This goes into the channel right here and it's going to I'm going to use it to uh, try to hold in the uh, welding blanket or welding screen that I purchased to cover all this um, but normally you use this to cover up wiring or that type of thing etc. Alright so I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and start assembling this. A couple of more things um, I'm going to have to put this inside the welding cart here so actually I'm going to have to avoid these screws here so I'm not coming back all, all the way to the ends here but uh, the height should be probably about four inches above this hand wheel so I'll have to make some kind of hub uh, cover or something to reach down in here and adjust this but if you get the laser uh, up at maximum travel this portion here is going to be above this so I wanted to make sure that if I needed it in the future I'll have that length. I haven't really been much past here with this particular lens and this is a pretty wide lens. Uh, some of the more concentrated lens of course you're going to be closer to the material so I really don't think I'm going to need the extra height. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to assemble this and uh, We'll fast forward through this process. Alright, I kind of got ahead of myself. I have 3D printed some mounts for this fan here. It's going to uh, sit back here to exhaust uh, any fumes. I've also printed a slot here so that we can get our imbiblical cord to route through in the back so it's going to sit like this so I've got those mounts we'll talk about these later um, when we get it all assembled so this is going to slide over and this will catch the slot for the imbiblical cord and then this is the fan mount here and it just uh, I just modeled it up in Fusion 360 and it's going to just slide in here like so. We're not going to worry about the placement just yet. Um, this piece right here will slide down into the upright and so it's going to mount the fan. That's going to keep it nice and steady and then this will sit on the bottom piece here. Alright so now I can go back with these two pieces in I can go back and put this back together. Kind of got ahead of myself there. Alright, I've got uh, the uprights on. Uh, we just got to cap it off. This is pretty sturdy, just like this. And for this enclosure, it'll probably be fine. But I did buy those 90 degree angle brackets, so I'm going to slide those in. Alright, I went ahead and assembled these. Now these are just quarter turns, so once you, uh, you don't have to disassemble to install them. You can just slide them through the slot, and then once you turn it, It'll lock it in. 
kind of like a M locks if you're familiar with that. All right, very sturdy. Now we can go ahead and get the top on. All right. You can see we've got the entire frame put together. I'm going to uh, do a test fit real quick and then we'll come back and reinforce it with our angle brackets here. All right. Well, not thinking, I had to take this piece out right here, this cross piece set it in here so I could get the uh, umbilical because it does not detach. Alright so that you can see how it just kind of sits down in here. I have to avoid these bolts. Your length right here might vary a little bit. I had to take this apart and remove uh, about five centimeters off, uh, five millimeters off of this so the total length of these were 65.5 instead of 66. But you can see I've got the frame in here now, so I'm just going to go ahead and set the laser in here and um, continue on. This cart here is really perfect for this right here. You can see the uprights there. It's all nice and tight. So I think this will work out really well. These may be, uh, these uprights might be a little too tall because you can see how much distance I have. But I'll put some kind of flap or access here so I can raise and lower this. Um, this right here will slide over like so. And then I 3D printed these uh, split rings here. And so they'll mount something like this. And we will be able to access this will be able to move up and down. Okay. And then the fan's going to sit right here on these two brackets. I'm just going to super glue that together or some kind of five minute epoxy or something. Alright, so I'm going to put the cross piece back in here and then we'll take a final look. I have installed all the 90 degree brackets here to give it all the support that it needs uh, around the perimeter here uh, on the side frames. In the front here I'm going to have the door so I don't want to put an angle bracket here because the door actually uh, is inset a little bit so it'll be kind of flush with the frame there so I don't want to put a any up top. Now the door is only going to come down to about the level of the bed here so that I can open it up. So I did put brackets down here in the bottom and I've reinforced all these corners as you can see here. So it's it's really sturdy. I went ahead and um, mounted the brackets for the fan and for the slot here and then the welding blanket here will, uh, I have these flanges that bolt to this so that it will uh, clamp tight. Same for the fan, so it will be all nice and tight. Uh, this is just some PLA Plus that I 3D printed uh, for these brackets. And we're going to have some exhaust hose here. It's going to hook to this and just, um, it will go out to a window. I think that's going to wrap up this video. You can see how the frame's coming together. It's it's really um, it's really quite sturdy, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, this 20 millimeter extruded aluminum is uh, really nice to work with. Um, pretty simple. Because this sits down into the frame, I'm probably going to have to uh, lift both of these units out of here to get the uh, covering on here. So that's going to be a, a little tricky, and this uh, the sheet for the door is quite a bit bigger than the piece here, so I'll have to uh, cut that down on the table saw. 
But we'll do that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you can click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video like this one, uh, if it's something you're interested in, you'll be notified and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.